Good morning, everybody. How vulnerable should you make yourself with your friends, with your acquaintances, with people? If you ask some people, the answer would be not at all. They're not willing to show any weakness. They're not willing to take any interpersonal risk of sharing their sentiments and feelings for another person or exposing their own troubles. It may be a defense mechanism or they may not want to burden people. They may feel that nobody cares. There is a time and a place for everything. The more you share of yourself with another person, the more you're letting them in. The more risk you're putting out. of them turning around and using that information against you if they are not a good quality person. They could be narcissistic, sociopathic, manipulative, toxic in many ways, and if you show them at all, the more information they have on you, the more information they have to either wield power over you or to spread to others. The level with which we share, let me backtrack like I do. If you do not share, if you refuse to be vulnerable, whether it's because you're afraid you'll be a burden to other people, overly sensitive to other people's needs, or a fear of your own, of exposure, and so you, you wall that off and you keep everything at a shallow, superficial level. You will miss out on necessary deep bonding with other people because it is the letting people in to our weaknesses, our vulnerabilities, our life histories, our true and genuine nature that makes people feel connected with you. And if you refuse to be vulnerable and to share, for whatever reason, you, you are blocking access to the deepest levels of bonding. And it's going to be especially hurtful in your intimate romantic relationships. Think of people like the rings of Saturn. There are people who are really close to you. And there are people who are farther and farther and farther out from you. You should share details of yourself to the degree you are close with this individual because you need to know what kind of individual they are to make sure they are safe and trustworthy places to be storing your information. 
before you blurt out your life story to a near perfect stranger, somebody you don't know well enough to entrust with that. Your personal details are your personal details and sharing them is a gift to other people. You have to share them in safe places with important people whom you can trust with that information. There are specific places and situations for different types of information. You may ch not share openly in church given aspects of yourself that you may confide in the pastor at your church. You would confide different things to your friends than you may confide to your pastor or your church. Bringing your whole life story with you every day to work is really not the appropriate place. unless you have developed a deep and meaningful bond with someone at your job. However, you have to have that deep and meaningful bond that has withstood the test of time and you really truly know this person because exposing your intimate details on your job is not something you want spread around your job. So you really want to know this person is legitimately your close friend, not simply your co-worker that you get along with before you start just dumping it all. And for your own safety, hold a little back. When you meet people, some people are oversharers for a variety of reasons. You just met them and they give you it all. They give you their whole life story. They give you all their fears and worries and they just take their heart out of their chest and place it in your hand. And that's really dangerous. People earn trust and intimacy with you. You don't give it out willy-nilly. Just like you don't give yourself away willy-nilly. You don't give away intimate levels of your personality and your personal story to perfect strangers just freely. When you meet people, get to know people. Get to know their character. Get to know what they're about their friend material and as things build and become closer and closer and closer in those rings of Saturn, you both are exchanging more and more personal information and personal moments with each other, the more you can open up. Don't be a fake self. Always be genuine because you can't hold up a facade for very long. Sooner or later, people are going to be able to tell who the real you is. I'm not saying hide the real you. Just don't hand over all of yourself to just anyone. It's literally dangerous. And you can have your heart broke at a minimum very easily if you do this. 
you build friendships, you build relationships, you build closeness, and you share yourself to the degree of that closeness, intimacy, and knowing. And it, it should be a back and forth situation. And if you don't ever share of yourself, you can expect to not ever achieve and appreciate that deep deep intimacy, that deep bonding feeling that comes with really close friendships and intimate relationships that are healthy, that you can communicate anything about and to someone that truly knows and understands you through and through. So be careful, it's not an all or nothing. Both of those are, are wrong, black and white thinking about never sharing or oversharing are both not the best ways to approach being vulnerable and opening up about your, your own personal story and your life and your foibles and your good things and just you letting people in. Also, be aware that an associate is an associate and they know what an associate needs to know. A best friend and confidant is a best friend and confidant and they can know much more about you. And in the center of this orbit is your spouse. Um, ideally, they should be the most prominent relationship in your life and they should know the most about you and you should be the most vulnerable with them and have that be a reciprocal situation. You should feel safe with your partner to be you and to let them in. But just like with beginning a friendship, when you're beginning a relationship, you don't let them in immediately just because you're, they're your partner, just because you're dating them. You have to get to know everyone before you let them in. When the relationship is long term and established over time, more and more and more and more intimacy and inner knowing and inner knowledge about you comes out. So don't shut down and never let anyone in. Don't share it all right off the bat to anyone and everyone. Share appropriate levels of yourself with people that are appropriate distances from you and that you know very, very well and can trust with your heart and that they're entrusting you with theirs in return. If you're married, ideally your spouse is in the center of the circle of Saturn rings and you can get to know each other over time deeper and deeper and deeper. And they are the atmosphere which everyone else circles around. And be aware of context, even if you have a good friend. Be aware of context. Is it your job? Personal details on the job may not be the best. Is it at your church? Personal details coming out at your church may not be the best. Is it your landlord? Personal details coming out with your landlord may not be the best. You need to learn where and when, who and how to open up to. To develop deep bonds that are meaningful, long lasting, and continually get deeper and deeper, better and better, safer, warmer, happier, 
more fulfilling. And not put yourself in jeopardy with complete strangers knowing everything about you or untrustworthy people knowing everything about you or people that you're not sure might not share those details in inappropriate situations knowing everything about you. So be true to you. Always be yourself. Always be authentic. But when it comes to intimacy, to knowing you, and to sharing your own truths, your own life story, your past, the good, the bad, all of those things, your heart, and your truth, and all your little fuzzy details. Think of people like the rings of Saturn. The farther away they are from you, the less they need to know. And people earn the ability to know over time as you learn who and what they are about and as they show their value to you and you show your value to them in developing a relationship. Good morning, goodbye, and I forgot about my coffee and my mouth is very dry. Good morning.